Eighth Day of Waiting on God by Andrew Murray. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Christopher Smith. Waiting on God, strong and of good courage. Wait on the Lord, be strong, and let your heart take courage. Yea, wait thou on the Lord. Psalm 27, verse 14, Revised Version. The psalmist had just said, I had fainted, unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. If it had not been for his faith in God, his heart had fainted. But in the confident assurance in God which faith gives, he urges himself and us to remember one thing above all, to wait upon God. Wait on the Lord, be strong, and let your heart take courage. Yea, wait thou on the Lord. One of the chief needs in our waiting upon God, one of the deepest secrets of its blessedness and blessing, is a quiet, confident persuasion that it is not in vain. Courage to believe that God will hear and help. We are waiting on a God who never could disappoint His people. Be strong and of good courage. These words are frequently found in connection with some great and difficult enterprise, in prospect of the combat with the power of strong enemies and the utter insufficiency of all human strength. Is waiting on God a work so difficult that, for that too, such words are needed, be strong and let your heart take courage? Yes, indeed. The deliverance for which we often have to wait is from enemies, in presence of whom we are impotent. The blessings for which we plead are spiritual and all unseen, things impossible with men, heavenly, supernatural, divine realities. Our heart may well faint and fail. Our souls are so little accustomed to hold fellowship with God, the God on whom we wait so often appears to hide himself. We who have to wait are often tempted to fear that we do not wait aright, that our faith is too feeble, that our desire is not as upright or as earnest as it should be, that our surrender is not complete. Amid all these causes of fear or doubt, how blessed to hear the voice of God, wait on the Lord, be strong, and let thine heart take courage. Yea, wait thou on the Lord. Let nothing in heaven or earth or hell, let nothing keep thee from waiting on thy God in full assurance that it cannot be in vain. The one lesson our text teaches us is this, that when we set ourselves to wait on God, we ought beforehand to resolve that it shall be with the most confident expectation of God's meeting and blessing us. We ought to make up our minds to this, that nothing was ever so sure as that waiting on God will bring us untold and unexpected blessing. We are so accustomed to judge of God and His work in us by what we feel, that the great probability is that when we begin more to cultivate the waiting on Him, we shall be discouraged, because we do not find any special blessing from it. The message comes to us, above everything, when you wait on God, do so in the spirit of abounding hopefulness. It is God in His glory, in His power, in His love, longing to bless you, that you are waiting on. If you say that you are afraid of deceiving yourself with vain hope, because you do not see or feel any warrant in your present state for such special expectations, my answer is, it is God who is the warrant for your expecting great things. Oh, do learn the lesson. You are not going to wait on yourself to see what you feel and what changes come to you. You are going to wait on God, to know first what He is, and then, after that, what He will do. The whole duty and blessedness of waiting on God has its root in this, that He is such a blessed being, full to overflowing of goodness and power and life and joy, that we, however wretched, cannot for any time come into contact with Him without that life and power secretly, silently beginning to enter into Him and blessing Him. God is love. That is the one only and all-sufficient warrant of your expectation. Love seeketh out its own. 
God's love is just his delight to impart himself and his blessedness to his children. Come, and however feeble you feel, just wait in his presence. As a feeble, sickly invalid is brought out into the sunshine to let its warmth go through him, come with all that is dark and cold in you into the sunshine of God's holy, omnipotent love, and sit and wait there with the one thought, Here I am in the sunshine of his love. As the sun does its work in the weak one who seeks its rays, God will do his work in you. Oh, do trust him fully. Wait on the Lord, be strong, and let your heart take courage. Yea, wait thou on the Lord. My soul, wait thou only upon God. End of Eighth Day